Today we are going to work through completing a graduation checklist. Our goal is to help you review your transcript and grades so you understand what courses you need to graduate. You should have a copy of your transcript. A transcript is a record of all your coursework that you have taken for high school credit. It contains your cumulative grade point average, which averages all of your coursework. Only the courses you have taken in grades 9 through 12 are included in calculating your grade point average. There are multiple websites you can use to calculate this. Please put your name on your graduation checklist and let us get started. We are going to review the core graduation requirements. The first section to review is English. You are required to take four years or eight credits of English. Find your ninth grade year English grades on your transcript. You should have two grades, one under semester one and another under semester two. Write your grades in next to English 9. If you have a failing grade in English or any of the other required areas, you will need to retake the course through night school or summer school. Depending on your current grade level, you will fill the rest of your grades for each year of English. If you are a sophomore, put a check mark next to English 10 to mark that is what you are currently taking. Juniors, put a check mark next to English 11. If you have an NC where the grade should be, look further down until you find the grade. This means that you made an F and retook the class for credit recovery. Once you write the grades on your checklist, mark through that class on your transcript so you know you have already recorded the grade. You can stop the video now so you have time to complete the English section. Now look at your transcript and find the math classes you have taken. If you took Algebra 1 in 8th grade, put those grades on the blanks under Additional Unit. This will count as your additional core credit for the College Prep Oklahoma Promise requirement. All students need three years of math in high school, or six credits. Even if you took Algebra and or Geometry in middle school, you are still required to complete three years of math, or six credits, in high school. The sequence for math is Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2. Be sure to mark those off your transcript once you write them down. After you have completed those required courses, you have several options for the next level of math. You will want to talk to your current math teacher and your counselor about which class is the right fit for you. Put a check mark next to the course you are currently taking. Of course, we recommend students take four years of math, and this could be a great way to get the additional core credit that is required as part of the college preparatory diploma requirements. You can stop the video now so you have time to complete the math section. Now let us look back at the science section on the checklist. All students need three years of science in high school or six credits. A year of biology and a year of physical science class that could also include chemistry or physics is required. So find biology and physical science on your transcript and transfer those grades to your checklist and mark them off the transcript. For juniors, you are probably taking your third year now, so put first semester grades down and put a check mark in the second semester space. Sophomores, your third year can be a science core of your choice. A great way to check a class to find out if it is a core credit or an elective credit is to review the course planning guide. You can find the guide on the high school website. You can talk to your science teacher and your counselor about which courses would be a right fit for you. Note, many of our science courses have some kind of prerequisite. You can use the information on your transcript to make sure you meet the prerequisite. Taking a fourth year of science could be another way to get your additional core credit. You can stop the video now so you have time to complete the science section. Put a check mark by what you are currently taking. For our social studies section, it is important to remember you are required to take a semester of Oklahoma history, a semester of government, and a full year of U.S. history. You need a total of three years or six credits. Your third year of social studies can be a core credit social studies course of your choice. Always consult the course planning guide, your counselor, or social studies teacher to make sure the course you take is a core credit. Of course, social studies core classes can count as an additional core requirement as well. Find your social studies classes and put them on your graduation checklist. 
put a check mark by any class you are currently taking. Remember to mark them off of your transcript as you write them down. You can stop the video now so you have time to write your grades and coursework in the Social Studies section. So far, we have added our grades and classes for the four academic areas. To complete the requirements for the College Preparatory Diploma, students must take two years of the same language or two years or four semesters of computer credits. You must take at least one year of computers or foreign language to meet minimum graduation requirements. If you are a student athlete, you definitely want to take the foreign language. See your counselor about NCAA eligibility rules. If you take computer credits for this requirement, remember to consult the course planning guide to verify that the class is a core credit. Taking a third year of a foreign language or core computer class can also count as your additional core. Find the foreign language computer technology section and put your grades on your sheet. If you have a third year of foreign language, you may put that under the additional unit section on your sheet. If you have taken one of the four academic classes or extra computer classes, go ahead and fill in the additional core section too. You can stop the video now to add this information to your checklist. If you have not taken classes for this area yet, see your counselor about your options. For the class of 2023 only, the next section on the graduation checklist is for a fine art class or speech. If you have taken art, speech, band, choir, debate, crafts, drama, pride, etc., you may put those in the fine arts or speech section. If you have not yet taken two fine arts credits, be sure to discuss it with your counselor. This is a requirement for graduation. These credits count as elective credits. For the class of 2022 only, Currently, this graduation requirement is embedded or covered in your English classes. If you have a course you have taken in this category, you can list it here. Just remember it is considered part of your elective credits. Next, we talk about electives. Any course that does not fit in one of the previous categories, or if you have taken over and above any of those categories beyond the additional core and required credits, those classes can count towards your electives. Look back over your transcript for any courses that did not fit in any of the previous categories. You will include those in this section. Most of the time, tech classes will go into the elective section. Sometimes this can be a little confusing, so ask your teacher and consult the course planning guide if you are unsure. We are getting close to the end of the checklist. All students have to complete personal financial literacy. Most of you completed it as a freshman. Mark this section if you have completed it and it is marked on your transcript on the right side, middle of the page. If you did not complete the CPR training as a freshman, you will complete it as a senior. At this time, you should have copied all of your grades and all of the classes over to the graduation checklist. If you have SAT, ACT scores listed on your transcript, you may transfer those scores over to your checklist. You have not taken the science or history test yet, so you will not have those scores. At the bottom, put in today's date under date of check. Put your initials and put in the number of credits you have. This number of credits is located on the bottom right corner of your transcript. Now go back up and make sure you have filled everything in. Look to see if you have any Fs. Those classes must be made up before you can graduate. Speak with your counselor about taking credit recovery to recover the credits you need. Look at what you still need to complete. Read through the credits needed to make sure you are on track to graduate. Our goal is that all students graduate and earn the College Preparatory Diploma.